The Gospel for today, Matthew chapter 20 and verses 17 to 28, says, Whoever wishes to be great among you shall be your servant. Today, the church in this Lenten time and inspired by the Holy Spirit proposes to us all a change in mentality. And this is as Jesus had suggested to his disciples. In today's world where status and control over others seems to be a way of life, both in the workplace and in our personal lives, we have a natural tendency towards a desire to dominate or subjugate people, to command, to order, and to have things done according to our own wishes. Either consciously or subconsciously, we yearn for others to accept our status or our position. But in today's gospel, Jesus proposes to us just the opposite. Whoever wishes to be great among you shall be your servant. The words servant or slave, we can't just take these words at their face value. We've heard them hundreds of times, but now we must be able to understand the reality of what they actually mean and confirm that with our attitudes and our behavior. The Second Vatican Council asserts that man cannot fully find himself through a sincere gift of himself. In this way, we're actually retrieving life, not giving it away. He who does not live to serve does not serve to live. In this attitude, Christ should first and foremost be our perfect model. Remember, as the gospel teaches us, the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. Let us remember that Christ received nails in his hands and his feet, and he suffered anguish. And by his suffering, he granted us our salvation. Lent seems to be the perfect time to look within ourselves and ask Jesus to show us how to be good and faithful servants to others. It may seem impossible to us. Perhaps we may feel weak in trying to do so. But through our prayers, we must ask him to bestow on us the gifts he has prepared and granted to us so that through our Lenten practices of fasting, charity, and prayer, we may be humbled and we may be the faithful servants the Lord wants each of us to be. The Lord does not disappoint those who take this risk. Hermanos, el día de hoy me toca compartir tomado de Mateo 17 al 28. Antes quiero pedir la guía del Espíritu Santo para que sea Él que me ayude, me guíe en esta reflexión. Jesús aquí anuncia que va a ser entregado y condenado a muerte, pero va a resucitar al tercer día. Aquí me hace entender que seguir a Jesús es servir a nuestros hermanos. Que no pretendamos acercarnos a Dios con la intención de tener beneficios o posiciones. Que no abusemos de alguna autoridad que tenemos, ya sea en la iglesia, en el trabajo o en la familia. Al contrario, si queremos ser grandes, que nos pongamos al servicio de los demás. Jesús, Él vino a servir y a dar la vida por nosotros. Hermanos, les animo que nos pongamos al servicio donde Dios nos llame. Con verdadero amor, entrega y sacrificio, teniendo en cuenta cómo nos enseña Jesús. Bendiciones.